Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time, once again for the final time, we are getting it all in the Journey Down Chapter 3. This was once again developed by Skyu Goblin, again published by Blitworks and is available for $15.99 again, but again again is part of the $31.99 trilogy which again, this week gets you it for £3.19 which is another bargain again. And again if you're watching in the future, look out for future future sales again. So this is the third and final instalment in the awesome Journey Down series and it sees Buana, Bananas, Kito and Lina on a deserted island trying to get back home and bring down the evil within. If you've been following the story closely, you'll know it's been a very decent one. Now as for achievements, just like the second game, it's all very easy, there's no speed run. Um, all achievements apart from three are story related, so we just need to keep an eye out for the easy missables. But for this game, I highly recommend saving frequently. Now the main reason being, for one of the achievements we have to blow an air horn nine different times in various people's faces. So if you save a lot and somehow miss one, you've got that save to go back to instead of a whole playthrough. This time though, it will take around an hour to complete. It's a bit longer than the others, but it is fun and it'll get done in no time. So let's get ready to rumble! And with that being said, well let us begin! And look at that, it's an hour long video, but we're already a minute and a half in. Yes, so we've got 59 and a half minutes left. Now the reason this one is a bit longer as well is because there is a bit more dialogue, but of course is that if this is the first game you play in, um, move the cursor with the left stick, you can change the speed with the right trigger. Uh, as you can see, it goes nice and fast. With the red arrow you can see there, if you press um, and double tap the A button, that gets you to another scene automatically straight away instead of you walk in there uh, so let's just go ahead and interact with the backpack anyway um, that gets us a cactus to begin with some uh, who the hell's leaving a cactus in a backpack <laughs> I don't know but it's a funny prank go inside the red mouth very not ominous at all um, also other things press the right bumper and left bumper to go uh, across in your inventory sort of quick look at your inventory press the white button to open up your inventory and uh, I believe that's all. There might be some more I'll come back to later. But anyway, uh, press the A button of course to interact with things, i.e. this crate. Open that boy up. It's empty. Oh man, it's empty. It's just like my soul. Right, get the cactus out and use it on the fungi. <laughs> well, you're not going to be a fungi no more because I am about to blow you down. Notice how I didn't say blow you off there. Yeah. See, I'm learning, I'm maturing like a fine cheese. Right, so Keto's given us the um, sword, the machete, so we need to pick up the deflated fungi before leaving. So that should be three items in your inventory right now. Um, use the sword on the monolith to get rid of all the brambles and all the crapples. And then we're going to see, ooh, some spooky stuff. But again, the reason why this game is a little bit longer is because there is way more dialogue in this one. A hell of a lot more. So, back out as you can see, and then from here what we're going to do is um, we're going to pick up the vines off the floor, the old tin vines. And then we can now go back inside the ominous looking red mouth. Right, grab the vines, interact that, use them with the crate. Oh, another thing, if uh, for your inventory, if you open up the Y button with your inventory as we use the deflated fungi there with the crate as well. Ah, let's put this baby into action. Use the, uh, you just go ahead and use the gate. Don't use the cactus on the gate, just interact with the gate. But yeah, if you want to drag stuff and combine something, you open up the inventory with the Y button. And, um, press the A button on it and drag it across, just in case you are new and you are playing this for the first time. For some reason, you're playing the third chapter instead of the first one. But still, there we go, it's just in case. Right, so here we are, we are at awesome, creepy statue land. We're going to interact with the pedestal, which is directly in front of us. Hey! Oh, and of course, press B, we're going to be a skill, still, pressing B to skip the cutscenes and the A button to skip through all the dialogue. So again, that's up to you. Obviously, if you want to have a look at the story and see what's going on, that's more than... Uh, obviously, you're more than welcome, but just for the achievement's sakes, we're going to smash through it. So interact with the roots, first of all. Man, these roots are huge. Oh, rock hard, too. <laughs> that sounds like something else I know. <laughs> My big hard 
Elbow. Nice rock hard elbow nice. I've got. Anyway, we're going to get these like uh, pieces of root or whatever the hell that is. Uh, it's like special root or something, or whatever it's called. Anyway, use the machete on the gate. Die. Of course, we are back as a uh, nine head Buana. His head seems to be getting bigger through every game. Not sure why. There we go. Freedom! So go inside. Freedom isn't technically necessarily inside, but eh, it's close enough if you've been on a weird deserted island for a while. That's because. <laughs> so. It's. See get up. I got a. Sh Things starting to get hot and heavy there with old Kina. Or Kito. Or no. Lena. Whatever her name is. Anyway. We are going to go and have a look at the bucket chain. And now we can grab the special rock and throw it anywhere in the canyon right there. That will shatter that into pieces. The root crystals, and now we've got to go all the way back down just to grab them, which is a pain in the ass. So at the top right there, you can go back, head back down, and pick up those root crystals. Wow. And now we can head back inside and make a mint out of these crystals. Hmm, very nice. Right, so from here, what we're going to need to do is use the root crystals on the generator. Great now. Hmm, the data files are encrypted. And this is the first sort of small little puzzle in the game. Very easy. You've literally just got to um, tap the top one first, then the right one, then the left one, and the bottom one. And next up. You can ignore everything on the right, the four on the right. We just need to interact with the four on the left. And the first one is going to be the very bottom one. So, yeah, not that one, but the bottom one. And then the sort of second one there, top left. And then the top one, and then the bottom left one. And we are in like a big pig. Although I don't know what a big pig's supposed to be in, but we're in anyway. This that... It What? No, what? I've... Here. Remember I told you about... Oh boy, that's a lot of dead. Out there, if I... Up this... Now that you've got the power... Good. You too, Lena. So. So, don't go chasing after your missus just yet. We're going to interact with the switch, which is just by the door. All the... Ten four heads is going to interact with that. Job done. Lovely. And that's basically it for this bit. We are off onto new adventures, and we're about 50 minutes away from the end of the game. So, um, not, not counting down the minutes or anything, but, you know, press the B button here if you want to skip all the cutscenes and all the dialogue uh, once again. This is the res new bombs. I'm. I. Maybe so. So what's going on? Uh, Ma'am. Peep. Um, head up. So, Ma'am. She fights. I'm oh. telling you. And Cold-blooded cops. Wow. That's the truth, brother. It's like a... That's... So, remember the nine air horns? Well, the air horn we have to blow in nine different people's faces? Here is where we get it then. So, from the very table, pick up the air horn. And now, very importantly, like I said, it's... Oh, it's important to save frequently, just in case, anyway. But use the air horn on Wasi. Outside. Uh, now, a lot of the times, you can just uh, use the air horn on the one person, and it sort of just affects the whole area. So you don't have to keep doing the same thing. So using the air horn with Wasi, that's one out of nine. Now go to the truck. You're going to have a little conversation with Keto, who is underneath. Man, that guy has a huge array of talents. Oh, But I'm a... No. And no. Go catch. And when the conversation is done, we're going to uh, scroll across the inventory, get the air horn out, and use that with the track to really shite him up there. And he says, "Ayu," 
which I've never heard anybody scared say AU before. But there we go. With the air horn, then, that is two out of nine. Uh, obviously, try to remember not to um, keep spamming the dialogue on certain things because you'll just be in a repeat dialogue forever. So that should be two out of nine for the air horn. Open up this box and grab the jackhammer. Always comes in handy. When somebody annoys you that much, it comes in handy. Then we're going to go up, and this is where the third air horn out of nine is going to be. Siento Armando, man. Right, what do you have to do, though? Yes, the terrible Jamaican accents are back. So, grab the air horn and use it with the wrecked car. The guy won't wake up, but that'll be three out of nine for us. <laughs> And for now, we can just press the B button to back out there of the inventory, and let's go see Sankara Town, man. Let us go and pass the duchy on the left hand side. So that's exactly where we're going. So this will obviously fill up with more places as we visit them. But for now, we're going to Sankara Square. They didn't. They couldn't be asked to fill in the U A E and R there. And e, no, how the hell do you spell square? S Q U A R E. Okay, well, that sounds about right for me, to be honest. <laughs> right, so we're going to smash the dialogue here, all good, and then we are going to appear. And then this is where the next air horn is going to be blown, so this will be four out of nine already. So before doing anything then... Oh man, you remember these guys, it's Chef Stabo and Mama Meerkat. I forget her name, to be honest. Catch you later, man. Right, air horn, uh, anyone you want, yeah, again... It all makes the diff. It does make a difference. Everyone has the same reaction, as you'll be able to see. So, ah, oh, Makina, that's the one, not Meerkat. Yeah, close enough. Right, when you've air horned them, use the bunny and interact with it three times, and then what's going to happen is a uh, little Duracell battery is going to come out of him. Get it, Duracell battery bunnies like the adverts. Yeah. Anyway, we grab the bunny. We'll grab the battery in just a little bit. So we're going to head down the steps. And the first thing we're going to do is speak to this happy, extremely stoned-looking girl on the left-hand side. <laughs> but we're going to interact with the fruit. More importantly, the one with a sticker on it. So, interact with the fruit, and he will. we will grab a sticker. Certificate of Purity, which is nice. Right, interact the um, air horn again with the girls at the fruit stand. So that should be five out of nine already. So, man, she is off her... It is! Uh, but yes, so <laughs> that should be 5 out of 9 now for the air horn. Basically, a whole b another bit of uh, conversation is going to happen. We're also going to get an achievement for free fruit, which I will take. If she wants to be that stone to give me free food, I'll, ta I'll take it all day. She's. You are. Listen! Why? Because we're about. We need. I don't care. You're friendly. Sweet! My mommy does. I think she likes it. Hello. Hey, miss. You want some more juice? <laughs> Hello, lady. Hey, miss. You want some more? <laughs> so, we should have got the achievement, the sticker from the fruit stand, and we should have air horned the girl five, um, five times. That should be the fifth one now. So, you should have had those three before we move up and through the alleyway. So, again, like I said, keep making those frequent saves just in case you end up missing one or something and you just go back to that. Right, a whole weird bunch of things happening here. We got a guy who looks like he's about to have a heart attack, old as hell, still thinks he can uh, battle with the best, and then there's long face with a gun, a taser, sorry. Yeah, that was always going to happen. <laughs> Let's... What? Uh... Yeah. Oh. Hey, what? I'm... And... Uh... Hey, it's... Let's take a five minute break. <sighs> So after that's done, then we're just going to go ahead and speak to Gabby, um, who was obviously the only lady there. Hell of a haircut as well, I love it. But just smash through all the dialogue, doesn't matter about the dialogue options, so smash these smash smash. You know what? Uh. God! Can you? We did a smudge. Hey, that's my... What's up? It's... Uh. Yeah, I... You let... You're... Hell... That bull... This... I'm out of here. No, we're... Po you... So, after this conversation, we are going to air horn the cameraman. Now, sorry, when I was saying nine earlier on, there's actually ten people and things that we need to um, air horn. So, so, apologies about that, but there is ten, so air horn the cameraman. See, I'm going to make a damn good air horn. 
I think I should be paid well for it. So anyway, so that'll be your sixth one already then, out of ten. Hey, Wasi. Hey. Free. Whoa. Your job. You mean your and now resist? Liz, I could. I'm. Yeah, this is a. I'm. That's a. Hey, see how. Don't. She. I don't know what kind of nut. See, I told you there's a lot of damn conversation this time. So we're going to grab the camera that we uh, grabbed earlier from the dude, which we automatically got in. Use it with the camera. And then use the um, the movie, the film camera with the film camera. The camera with the film camera. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, so grab those two. More dialogue will happen. There. <laughs> Man, ha, yeah, we're huh? the network. I've get in the car. All right, we're here. This is a. Uh, we're. Go <laughs> Bruh, she just left us. She left us to die. Well, actually, we're just, we're actually being Super Eleven Head Detective. That's going to be my new name, Eleven Head Detective Agency. Right, uh, interact with the fire escape then in the top right-hand corner. Uh, we are just basically breaking into a university, as you do every day. That is what happens. So jump yourself in. And the first thing we're going to do is grab a magnet from the box that we are currently looking at, or interact with the boxes, to grab a magnet. Easy. Right, now look at the CCTV machine. Now we have to put in a specific date and time. And that specific date and time is 15, the 15th of March. 15. Sounded like my uh, <laughs> my pubes just came in then. Um, my bow was dropped. Right, so 15th of March and the time is going to be 6, or f yeah, 6.42. So 15th of March, 6.42. Exactly the way it is then just interact with the buttons underneath it to get the picture that you need Thank you for liking my uh, many achievements there fire me a cat. I appreciate that big time <laughs> It's a pick I want So after we've broken into the university not stole anything of any use or any goods apart from the picture We can now head out head back and then head up sort of well. It's the up arrow, but it's more left Again, keep pressing the double A button there to just automatically skip all the boring walking stuff and then head to the canal. The sea anal. Or canal in is what most people would call it. Right, when we get here then, we can just head back down. Again, remember if you haven't um, used the air horn on the wrecked car there, make sure to do that. Maybe. Put that. I hit this. We got. <laughs> kind of. What? Now, you... So, whip out the incriminating photograph, which shows um, many things that we didn't want to see on Wasi. No, I'm joking. Just um, show Wasi the picture, and he's obviously going to give us another direction of where to go. The, the woman on the drums kind of looks like Gamora. Guardians of the Galaxy. Little, little, yeah, little alien cute. Anyway... Uh, see you later, Wasi. We're out of here. We're going to go again. Um, now again, I just make a little cheeky save here, not for any particular reason, but that's always a more of a just in case thing, especially with these pissing air horns. But now we can head downtown. We got a new direction to go in, so let's head there, boy. Doin toin, doin toin. Right now we've got some new people to air horn, Isabel and other lady friend right there. Whose names I do not know. Oh, Saskia. Eh, well, close enough. Right, so dialogue will stop. Then what you need to do then is air horn either Isabel or Sask <laughs> Sasquatch right there. And that will be number 7 out of 10. And then we can just head up to go to this little laundry mat. And we've got Rose, who basically looks like Dot Cotton. But she's kind of alive, sadly. Dot Cotton died, which was very sad. Um, but this old lady, we are just going to have a little chat and we're just going to say catch you later. We don't need to worry about that and go into the door behind her. Apparently she doesn't care. This is Rose. Where? Orville. 
in bed. Uh, So first things first, we're going to grab the gas can in the forefront of the screen right there. So that'll be nice, that'll come in handy. Gas cans normally do. Unless you want to set yourself on fire, then uh, it's probably a bad idea. Then go left. That's just going to open up this scene where the professor has been kidnapped. 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 So apparently then it's up to us, Mr. Eleven Head Detective Agency, to save the world, or save the professor. But anyway, we're going to head back down, we're going to head back to the right, and then... Uh, oh, you two! Right, so that is a guy that is, um, uh, he's not a very nice guy, and we're going to get an achievement courtesy of that guy later on. So, for now, what we're going to do with the cursor on the right, <laughs> we are just going to go back to the left and go back to the canal. Okay, right. So again, I just used the air horn. Uh, that was again more of a just in case thing. Uh, but as soon as we do that, what we can do is use the gas can with the wrecked car after you use the air horn again if you wanted to. And then you actually have to push the car over with your incredible, uh, you know, 16 head strength. Somehow his head just keeps getting bigger and bigger throughout the game as well, apparently. And then all we got to do is actually just pick up the gas can from the other side. No need to use any of your items on it. So there we go. Pick up that. And if there's an easier way to get gas, I'd like to hear it. I mean petrol. Because gas means pooping yourself. Farting. Yeah. So if there's an easy way to get petrol, I'd like to hear it. Anyway, we're going to head back downtown. And here we are then. Back to Isabel, etc, etc. So we are going to now combine the gas can with the jackhammer, as you can see there. So again, you press the A button, just drag it over to what you want to um, combine it with, and job done. Then use the jackhammer on <coughs> on Isabel. No, don't use it on Isabel. Use it on the arcade machine, and a whole bunch of quarters are going to pop out. Lovely. Now, try not to speak to Isabel when they start playing. Because it's just going to be a whole lengthy bit of conversation and it gets annoying after about four seconds. Oh, no. Alright. This time. So when we finally stop talking to them, we're just going to pick up a couple of quarters. I don't know why you just didn't pick them all up, to be honest, but there we go. So we're going to go back up, back to the laundromat with Rose, etc. We're going to interact just where, well, the air horn won't matter, so doesn't matter, don't matter about that. She's not going to bother with that one. Uh, but we're going to use the quarters in all four of the lawn, laundry, laundry, laundry machines. So do, um, yep, so just use it in each one. And for some reason, just four small little washing machines will cause enough panic and enough of an earthquake upstairs to um, apparently get them all going and leave the professor behind. Now, I've never known any washing machines that powerful, but if you if you do know, let me know. So we're gonna head into the door anyway, behind, uh, back behind Rose, and we're gonna go into the door on the left. Hello, professor. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, According we and no. <laughs> All right. Hell. No. You try. Hey. Um. Well, I've. Hey. A big. Go back. Hey. I'll so you should have got that achievement there as well. So when the dialogue's all finished, in the top right-hand corner is a bunch of firecrackers which you just want to take. I got plenty. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So that should be a couple of firecrackers. Now we can head back out again. Okay. So we got to kind of uh, find a couple of items, which is what we're doing. So heading back to the left. Now we are going to go back to the um, uh, where are we going downtown. Sorry, we are going from the canal. 
Canal, Canal, Canal. We are going back downtown, back to where Rose is, and we are just going to speak to Rose. Or we're going to interact with the satellite phone in order to speak to Rose. I can take... I will make... It is for a... <laughs> what can I say? I've got... Hey, oh, I'm friend. Let's stop cap. You help, you can... Oh, I'm your friend. Let's cap. You help, you can... But as is the norm, we have to sort something out for them before they give us what we want. So we're heading up uh, into the door behind Rose, into the left, and there's a stack of papers on the left-hand side. Very Eminem style. Stack. <laughs> Staple his nuts to a stack of papers. A stack of copy papers. That's, the, that's the only thing. Every time I see, hear a stack of papers... I just see Eminem and Stapleton in that to him. Right, go to the left. We're going to get an item and an achievement here, just on the balcony. So the first thing we're doing is grabbing the lighter, which is just in the ashtray to the side of us. So make sure to pick up El Ligter. Ligter. And then what we're going to do is use the jackhammer on the air conditioning on the other side of us. And is this all for a good reason? Well, you bet your ass. Use the jackhammer. That's going to fall down on the... Um, Evil man's on the enemy's van below. And that's going to give us the achievement. So now we can actually head back. <laughs> it's funny. Head back through the right and down. And then we can head <laughs> to the right. Bit of conversation is going to happen here. <laughs> the bloody door's broken. Hey, I resent that baldy remark. Excuse me, peacock head. Right, what we need to do then is get out our horn. We're going to use the horn, air horn once again, on this uh, van dude. Here, mister. <laughs> it's funny to antagonize already angry people. Though I wouldn't do it if they've got a machete or something on them. Right, when we after we've uh, blown the air horn at him, use the license plate. Use the jackhammer, sorry, on the license plate. You know, really mess his car up even extra. But that drops a license plate for us, and that's exactly what we need. So, after we have the license plate then, I think we are pretty much now done with the area. So we can now head back through to the left, onto train. And then we're going to head to Sankara Square once more. More. Right, get another achievement we're going to get now, and that is for angering Stabo once more. Like we did in the very first game, of course, or the first chapter. So what we need to do, TV's going a bit squiff. Um, so what we need to do is whip out the magnet. Oh, in fact, I accidentally went back in. Don't don't do what I just done there. That's that's what happens when you keep spamming the, the A button. See, <laughs> you end up going back to places you don't want to go. So after you come back for good, uh, interact with the poster on the left, just by the TV first. In fact, I don't, don't even think you have to interact with the poster, to be honest. But we're going to get the magnet out, use that on the TV, and Chef Stabo is going to lose his flabbo. Take a deep nap. Sorry, Makina. I get new TV. I mean, that is one hell of a throw, I'll give it that. Anyway, interact with the broken TV to get our... <laughs> Our hatchet or cleaver, sorry, back. And then go into inventory and use the cleaver on the bunny. Yes, kids, bunny's dead. Sorry. Uh, but that is what gets us the Duracell battery. The one that lasts forever, according to the adverts. And then we can just go up. And we are back in this area with Pablo Escobar and old um, Joe Warburton chin. So what we need to do then, uh, you can try and use the air horn on, air horn on Pablo. It's not going to work. But use the battery on Pablo to get the to get the battery in his uh, pockets. Then just speak to him, and he's going to get tasered. But that is going to give us the supercharged battery. So all's well that ends well for us. In fact, what you have to choose is the second option. Sorry, right on. So how are you going to stop them? So make sure to choose the second option there. Then we get the battery. <laughs> Check it out. He's so all right. All right. Keep there we go. Then, one we once we have the battery, supercharged battery. Now we can go back to the left. We're done with Pablo Escobar and that area, or the cheap-looking Pablo Escobar. Now go up to the right, 
up to Chef Sabuki Stabukinas, and we can head back to the left on the train. So we're roughly now about we're about halfway through now, but halfway through the game. So getting through it. Let's go back to Agibo University. And again, we're going to be using the air horn on the cop. Um, apparently, there's a couple of people inside, and there only seems to be one annoying cop. So head over to the old cop car. Right there. Oh my god. This is the real thing. Oh. Ex I'm a minor. No. Ten. Well, what I is that real? I'm hoping. Shocks? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What? Wait. Well, I. What? Oh. oh, happy. So, after the weenish police officer stops talking, go ahead, whip your air horn back out and use it on Bemis. We should have called him Weenus, because he is a bit of a wiener cop. Oh, oh it... <laughs> what a... And... Sorry! You know what they straight... They said I thought... This... One... So... And... Yeah, yeah! I... Now the... You're not... Hey. Oh no, oh, the last... I... I... Don't kill! <laughs> oh... Okay, I'm gonna just back up. I mean, that's a lot of talking for one weenus. Right, grab the firecrackers from your inventory, use them with the squad car, and <laughs> and then what we can do is use the lighter, of course, as well, because that's how you get fireworks to start, or firecrackers, and watch all hell and loose. And, <laughs> well, weenus is off, so that gives us free range. Nice. So, head into the right-hand side then, onto the university, head up the ladder, top right again, and then just head right once more on the door, on the floor. Heading down, we're going into this room, the only sort of empty room. Yep. This has got to be Lena, and Lena and Moorhead's office. And it is. It is indeed. Right, grab the... Uh, what we need to do is use the... Uh, what are we using here? The stack of papers, sorry, on the copy machine. So use the stack of papers there on the copy machine. And then we also have to use the fruit sticker as well. So get out the fruit sticker, which of course we should have got from the fruit stand earlier on. If you haven't got it, go back to the fruit stand next to Chef Stabo's and Makina's kitchen. And there we go. Press the copy machine to get a couple of pieces of paper and grab them. And that is what we need to get past Rose on the stairs as well. So head back out. And it's funny how there's a lot of open doors and open windows, but there's nobody about in this uni. Well, well makes for easy stealings. Head to the left, head to the up. Yes, you know where the app is, boy. It's right there. Come in. Okay. Right, since we've made that, now what we're going to do then is just head straight back down to downtown. Down Brown Town. Right, go, heading up. Up, up and away. And then just go ahead and give the M&M style stapled nuts to a stack of papers to Rose. Hey, lad. Uh... Oh lord, that's absurd now. Oh, I can prep as I built for him. I will with this. After that, now we can interact with a satellite phone, and now finally we can grab that. Although she is literally an, a 90 year old smoking woman, we could have just probably stolen it, run away, caught the train, and went back to the sea anal, the canal. It's the sea, it's the canal canal. Uh, but we could have just done that. But here we are then, back at the canal, and we're going to head down. What if we bring him? Hey, I like that. Let's hope. Hmm. And let's begin giving everyone their presents, is it? Right, so the first thing we need to do is get the license plate, and we're going to give that to Gabwi. She's going to put that in her hair as, like, uh, you know, just something cool to look at. Then give Bombshell the phone. Damn girl, you a damn bombshell. So that gives her the satellite phone. She's happy with that, apparently. To do, you know, stuff with. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> nob! And then from here, what we can do, we have to just give one thing to Keto, and that is the battery. So give the battery, well, to the truck. That is one hell of a long, long truck. Jesus Christ. 
I only just realised that. <laughs> so give the battery to the truck and, well, all hell's going to break loose again. Well, I do think it seems we have a rather solid... And I... Where? Don't let me down. Revolution, baby! This sure is some plan, Wassy! <laughs> so... Get... What do you... Taurus! Stop! Stop! The key to the Temple of Elders! That... No. Wet and what are <laughs> guards? I'm telling you right now, there is no way that a couple of police cars are going to uh, smash that truck off the road. Right, so we are basically playing as Lena now, the old liner bean for a bit. Yeah, uh, but just under 25 minutes away now from the end. So let's get out of here, shall we, Wothar? I don't actually think you have to speak to Wathar, or Wafflehead. No! <laughs> oh, ran out of... I go... Oh, uh... Just li Although I would take a nice cheeky brewski right now. Oh, uh, well, apparently not then, never mind. So, uh, interact with the barrel. He's basically just going to say there's a bunch of glue in it. Or something. I think it's glue. Yeah. It's grub, sorry, not glue, it's grub. Close enough, anyway. So, uh, automatically then, Lima Bean will get the grub in her, for some reason, she's got like a little ladle. Use that with the eel rinse. So from the inventory there, use the ladle with the eel rinse, he gives us a cup. And then what we have to do is get your cup with eel rinse out. And then as soon as he opens the furnace, press the cup against the furnace. So now he's opened up the furnace, press the A button on it, and that... Just, well, that goes nuts. <laughs> unlucky, unlucky, chunky boy. Right, that'll do, that'll do. So, with the uh, ladle, grab the keys from the left-hand side of Waffle Head. And then we should be good to go. There was the keys. Now we can use the keys on the lock and get ourselves out of here. Move up the stairs. Because apparently Waffle Head doesn't know that we've gone now or he doesn't know anything. So, that's all good. We're not going through that aircraft just yet, so go to the left, interact with the sword, and we have Sleeping Warrior um, Snoo Snoo Woman just uh, taking a chill, taking a snooze. Grab the sword, she's basically going to wake, wake up after we grab the parachute next to her, so just make sure to grab the parachute. She's got a gun, you just interact and slice that down, and well, that is a pretty long drop. God damn. Anyway, that should get you the Karmic Payback achievement as well. Get your grubby mess off me, you sons of bitch. Right, now that the coast is clear, Lima Bean really doesn't look like she belongs here, does she? She's definitely, uh, I, I don't know. But she definitely doesn't look like she belongs in the jungle. So anyway, we're going to head back down. Again, Wafflehead doesn't know that we've gone or that we're just freely walking about. Use the sword on the rope and that will get this grapple hook gun. So again, you should automatically pick that up, so make sure that we got that grapple hook gun. That'll come in handy for just a bit. Um, we don't need to, we need to use it on the hatch, sorry, so go ahead, use the grapple, grapple hook on the gun. The grapple hook gun on the hatch, that's exactly what I was after there. So, ba-bam! Slicey dicey your way up! Huh! What? You? What are you? On go- Kill you. Yeah. I... <sighs> but I well, I'm huh. this with 
Right, so after all that bit of dialogue's done, what we're going to do then is interact with the speaking tube, which is directly in front of us, where the old, um, the very old queen was just chilling, sitting, before we ruined that for her. So we interact with the speaking tube, and then it doesn't matter which dialogue option you pick, uh, because it all just doesn't make a difference for now. There's going to be a temple key. Um, I accidentally speak to him again, which I so often do. Uh, <laughs> so choose whatever, it doesn't matter again. But there's going to be a temple key just to the left of us there, so make sure to grab said temple key. Yeah, you're not going to need that now when you're all tied up. Anyway, we're going to head to the right. And then what we need to do then is go into the aircraft first. We basically need to take down a cheeky little serial number and have a look for any snacks on board. Because, you know, it must be bloody hungry work doing all this. Um, and then afterwards, after you got the serial number from the aircraft, go to the left and interact with the treasure chest for a couple of goodies. Let's have... Oh, an ancient equator. It's made from the fang. I want... Let... Ah. And when we've got that then, we can now head to the right. And we are going to um, go to the up, once again, just to see where the queen is. And from here, now we can now go into the speaking tube. Basically, we know now what to say. So, what's your bidden? And we're going to choose the flying dagger. So, the very top option anyway. Choose the flying dagger. That's our cue to exit. That's our cue to leave. So, give it! So we end up waking up on this beautiful something, but we're going to interact with the window there just as we wake up uh, to have a look that we got stranded on this beautiful looking island again. We are getting stranded in some blamissimo places. Um, so we've got, um, <laughs> well, we've got homeless looking dude. Just going to have a little chat with her for a minute. I've been down here. I go. <gasps> That's yeah. That I I spoke. You need. You mean this? <laughs> so let well. Excellent. Let me. We'll land we the lucky lady. Right. So homeless guy's taking a nap. We're gonna look at the photographs there, just at the back, and oh. you're gonna interact with the seashell. Uh, we don't need the photographs. Just a seashell will do. So make sure to grab that there from the photo uh, from the photos behind us. Then interact with the cupboard, and we've get a couple of oranges and some other stuff. Basically, we've got some candy. Whatever's in there, we can keep, which is nice of him. Then interact with the grill to get a. I mean, it's a nice goddamn looking fruit fish thing. Although it is a rat, so there eh, you know it's all protein. It all gets to. It all goes down the same hole, and it all comes out the same hole, doesn't it? Either up or down, doesn't matter. So we're heading back up to the ship now. We're going to interact with the logbook at the forefront of the screen. And we just need to basically keep flicking the pages. So, onto the right page, next page, next page, and then pick up the recipe for coconut magic in the heart of America. And then what we need to do, interact with the tassel there on the left. That's going to be like a projection screen, and then interact with the projector on the right so all we're doing now for the next couple of minutes then is just getting the monkey to give us various different fruits so if you press the projector again it comes up with a banana so now what we're going to do is head down and we're going to ring the bell which is ju just to the left of the monkey and then what happens is webster will have uh, webster the monkey will go up have a look what's on the screen see it's a banana and actually go and fetch you a banana what a clever little, what a clever little monkey, better than most humans. So he grabs that, so that is what we're going to be doing. Oh, hey Declan, what's up buddy? Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to go back up, click the projector till the next screen, which is going to be a pineapple. Go back down, ring the bell, just do that for the next couple of minutes.
I was saying that, mine is only about 30 seconds, but now get the coconut from the from your inventory, which of course was from the logbook at the forefront of the screen. Go ahead, do the same thing, ring the bell, and uh, Webster's going to go and grab us the coconut. For some reason, I thought that part was longer than it actually was. Job done, man! Right, what we can do, grab yourself the coconut, so interact with the fruit box. And just make sure that you've got a coconut, because we are going to need that in just a bit. Also, make sure to grab the crackers as well, because everything's a little cracking. <laughs> Cracker lacking, boy. So you should have the crackers and a coconut uh, from, the fr from, the fr from the fruit box. Then we can interact with the boat and set sail slightly-ish. All we're going to do is quickly visit the other two islands. So the first one, we're going to visit the waterfall. Um, and a lo lot of dialogue again. Basically, the name of the game here is... Um, we've got Mr. Krabs and his son, uh, Little Krabs. Uh, this is going to pop out. So we're going to use the coconut with the crabs. And then they're just going to smash it open. We're going to grab the other halves of the coconut and then we can move on. So after they destroyed the hell out of that, now we can just walk back over, and for some reason, the crabs, who could pinch your, pinch your ass to death, they just move on, uh, which is nice, that's nice and shy. Uh, so what we can do now is mix the coconut that we already have in our inventory there, and use it with the candy. So press the A button there on the candy, um, makes it look beautiful. If coconuts didn't smell nice enough, minted candies makes it smell even better. Right, go ahead and speak to Kaya no do 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 whatever his name is, and then we're going to head to the right, which is the temple. And we will come back here in just a little bit as well. Right, so for now, what we can do, um, we are going to um, see the birds on the top right-hand corner, give them the crackers, and they're basically going to give us a feather, which is very nice of them. So make sure to pick up the feather, and then from there we can just now head back to quite da 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 da, and then head to the swamp. Yeah, we are going to see Shrek. It's official. Wow. Actually, sorry, I tell a lie. Before going on back on the boat, interact with the flowers there on the bottom right-hand corner. So <laughs> once we grab that, which is called the eucalyptus, use that with the coconut. So, sorry I almost uh, steered you wrong there, but so that is before going on the boat. Grab the flower, use that with the coconut, and then we can interact with Kane. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go, Captain. And for one last thing to do, we're going to head to the Swamparoni. Shrek, this is my land. Mine. So Shrek, of course, is Scottish. But try and head to the left, and you're going to see El Cobaroni. You're going to see... Uh, and then what we need to do is actually just give him the rat. So the weird rat from the grill. Give him um, Arbok the uh, rat. And then we're good to go. And then we, what we can do is pick up the scale that he leaves behind as well. So thank you, Arbok, for that one. I was thinking of Ekans. See? Snake, Cobra backwards. Yeah, I was thinking of the wrong Pokemon there. And then we can head to the left... And this is the downed plane. Oh my gosh. So interact with said downed plane. And she's off in. Right, nice, okay. Now she's got the grappling gun. So the one that we found earlier we didn't actually bring with us. Because for some reason you can only use it once in the world of video games. Right, after that bit, talk to Sniana Madodo again. And then we should be good to go straight back to the temple. Although I'm realising now we could have just gone to the swamp first and then the the um, temple after, but yeah, it's all good. Right, the uh, use the gate key that, of course, we got earlier on from the right. um, evil woman on the big bloody plane or whatever it was. High up in the sky, use that on the gate, and away we go! It sure did, lady. Wow. Right, you go back to, to your fantastic homeless life, pal. Right, so we need a bridge, but luckily we've just found the grappling gun, of course, so... Wap out your grappling gun, use it on the arch, or the arc, and then head all the way up. Ow. 
Hey. This to prove. So we just have to do a nice couple of offerings. Here's my offer. Don't eat yellow snow. Right. You need to give the um uh the seashell to Marushaka. Chicago! You're out of there! Right, you need to give the feather to a Wakwan. A Wakwan. A Wagwan man. A Wagwan blood. Right, and then next you need to give the little seed thing to Nia's Nia Kazo. Nia Kazho. Mia Mia Kazaho. Ah, nah, no, 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 I couldn't do anything with that one. And use the teeth skull things with Ogonon. And then with that, there will be four all done. Uh, Nia Kaz has got a half-eaten donut on his head, which is, uh, I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but there we go. Right, with that one done, you don't have to interact with the Aqua uh, one, you just have to interact with the horn. Uh, stop interacting with Aguan, Aguan blood. Interact with the horn. And that is what gets us the achievement, and that's what gets us the hell out of here. And we are now onto the final stretch. Yes, sir. Wanna find a way to unlock the mainframe? So let's do this thing, buddy. Right, we're going to interact with the desk first to grab a voice recorder. Nice, nice very nice. 12, 18,000 head. Okay. Use the recorder on the terminal behind you. And then what that is going to do is basically get the, the uh, doors green and open. Don't click the terminal again because the, the doors were closed and you just have to do that little um, bit again. Uh, so that's fine. So we can just interact with the right. Gabby looking like an Austin Powers uh, 1980s B Bond movie villain right there. I said about three films in one there, didn't I? Anyway, okay. she's going to start um, sticking her booty up the uplink. Nice, okay. Sounds good to me. Big D, that's always a funny username. That used to be mine. Except it never was because... <laughs> oh, mine is ridiculously tiny D. It's nothing to do with what you think, though, okay? Cool. Right, so after all this little bit is done, we can now go to the um, junction box, which is just to the right there, or sort of just in the middle of the room. So we interact with the junction box. Now we need to, to use the cleaver on said junction box to expose the wires. And we need to use the cleaver again on the recorder. So use the cleaver on the recorder. It doesn't matter which way you do it. But now we've basically got two separate things to use, so we're going to use the microphone on the junction box. Bang, toidy. And we're also going to use the recorder on the junction box. Bang, toidy. Wow, that is a very familiar sounding dial-up tone. Oh, Jesus Christ. One that haunts <laughs> people my age in around their 30s and they had to go through dial-up tone just to get connected to the internet. That will haunt a lot of people. Christ, remember when you had to try and use the internet after six because the internet was free? Or you couldn't use the internet at all if your mother or your father was on the house phone? The internet would cut out? Jesus Christ. I remember doing a Bioshock boosting session. Six hours, and my mother was on the phone for four of those hours. So, yeah, that well, that didn't that didn't go well. People didn't like me for that one. <laughs> anyway, we've got the backpack. And uh, now what we need to do is use the backpack on all four of these generators. So there's four generators there. Just use the backpack on all four. And then basically we're going to automatically run away because explosions will happen. Hi, up. Nice. Sam. What the? So I already.
All right. One. Uh oh. Let's get that. Run away! Quid wanna get? So now we're in a shootout, but apparently Gabby's the only one that's being shot at because we, as Buana, are just chill there. Pockets as hell. Uh, we're just chilling, man. So let's make some explosions. Is it right? Use the uh, back. Uh, no, sorry. Use the severed bunny head with the gas can. Sorry, not the backpack. That doesn't fit. Uh, so use the uh, Mr. Bunny with the gas can. And then use the gas can with the door behind you. That's a firebomb. Use the lighter with the firebomb. And make things explode or only. Oh, the horn is in... Come on. Oh, no. God. What's he? Course I ain't okay, fool! Can't you s Wake up, baby! So for the final time then, we should now have 10 out of 10 air horns. We're gonna try and wake up Gabby with the air horn. So before doing anything, whap it out and use it on Gabby. The your air horn, of course. So now, you should get the achievement. There it is. Happy days. So one of the menace. So hopefully, as we clear the rebel on the right, hopefully you would have got that um, completed. Or hopefully, if you haven't got it completed for whatever particular reason, you hope, I hope that you've got a save that you can go back to. Otherwise, sadly, you'll have to replay the whole game again. It's only an hour, but that's an extra hour out of your life that you really probably can't be asked to do. So, right now we're going to interact with the power box. This should look very awfully familiar, but we're not going to do uh, touch it for now. We're going to go to the left, have a little chatty chat with Bombshell, and we are going to grab the guitar. Which is on the left, of course, on the stage. And we're going to be grabbing these starter cables as well. So, let's whap them out. Are we going to put them on Gabby's nips and electrocute her up? That would also wake people up. Little uh, little battery, car, uh, little battery um, car starters or something on the nips. Well, that'll be enough to wake anybody up, that one. Um... Doesn't oh, I suppose I might already be awake to enjoy that. Anyway, let's get rid of all four of the brackets. Just like the very first scene of the very first chapter. Use the hatch. Can't use the switch yet because very silly of me. We need to use the starter cables on the big starter on the big sort of exposed wires on the left. So let's try that first, shall we? Turn off the switch in case of electronocution. Electronocution. Use the starters on the connectors there. That seems a little better. Grab the starter cables, and then you're going to automatically hook them to Gabby's legs for some particular reason. Literally, either hairdo, cheeks, or, like I said, nips will probably do it. But anyway, now you can smash out the switch, and that is going to get everything powered down, except Gabby. Hooray! Gabby, you got it. You the bomb. Oh man, the detonate. It doesn't play the right. Come on. And the very last thing then that we've got to do in order to get things going, go into your inventory for one last time after grabbing the detonator out of Gabby's hands. Grab the cassette to whap that one out. I just lived in your arms tonight. Right, interact with Wasi. Wasi. Godfather Manabosi. Godfather Manawasi. Right, inventory, use the guitar with the detonator. So you've got a guitar detonator. And then you need to give the guitar detonator to Wasi. Wasi. Godfather Manawasi. And then that's basically going to be the end of the game. Job done. I can't. I So there we 
we have Play it then, guys and gals. That's the Journey Down chapters 1, 2, and 3 all complete. And I really hope you enjoyed the games. I hope you enjoyed the guides and that they helped you out as well. Of course, if they did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed playing this. I hope you did as well. So, there we have it then, guys and gals. I guess I shall see you in the next one. Ba-ba-ba-bing-love.